Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am so excited to be showing you guys a very intense deep clean of this kitchen as well as a declutter and deep and deep clean of my refrigerator which is horrific. So if you guys need some cleaning inspiration, let's get up and let's clean our fridges and our kitchens together today. I am super excited to be doing this, not only because I need it for myself, but because I am hopeful that this will inspire somebody else out there to get up and get their kitchen and their fridge in order as well. So the first thing I like to do is clean off my counter space and give everything a solid wipe down. There's a ton going on here on my counter island because this space is literally the catch all for pretty much everything in our house from crafts to the mail drop off to preschool art projects, snack station, you name it, this countertop has it. And I really love to start off a fridge clean with a really clean counter space because it makes me feel less overwhelmed with all of the clutter. If I started to empty out the fridge first, I'd be doubled down with mess. So this is honestly the easiest way for me to keep a clear mind and have some method to my madness. Let me know what your method is for cleaning your fridge. Do you completely empty it or do you do one shelf at a time? Or maybe you're like me and the first thing you do is give your kitchen a good wipe down and sanitize everything first. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. All right, you guys, I really want to know how has your week been? What is something that has went really well for you this week? Or what is something that you've struggled with? I really want these cleaning videos to be a place where our little community can come together and lift up one another and give praises for our successes and also share arm in arm in our struggles and downfalls. That's definitely something that I love the most about YouTube here is there's so much space for positive energy. So definitely drop down how your week's been or what's been going on with you in the comments so that we can support each other. One of the ways that I like to prevent waste, especially with produce, is by freezing them. So these old bananas that are super ripe, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in a plastic baggie in my freezer so that whenever I wanna use them for like a smoothie or maybe I wanna make banana bread, I have them ready to go. If you guys are new here, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button as well as the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me. I'm using my Mrs. Meyers basil disinfectant spray and this is literally one of my favorite scents to use when cleaning my kitchen. It really makes everything smell so fresh and clean and it's giving me serious spring vibes. It's still super cold here in Washington but I'm feeling the sun stay out a little longer so I'm counting down the days until spring. So let me know what the weather's like where you live and if you're just as excited as me for the springtime because I am so ready for the sunshine to come back. Let's get wild We're magic, you and I They call us reckless, but we don't mind We got one summer, so let's make it count You make me feel like everything's alright Let's dance our problems away in the night Love being right next to you You'll be on my mind I'll be dreaming about this 
I'm low key embarrassed about how much I'm sweeping up right now just from giving my counters a deep clean and shaking out my toaster. But I am so glad that I went ahead and did this. And now I'm going to move on to my refrigerator and it is pretty bad. Like I cannot remember the last time that I gave this thing a thorough clean. So yes, I am going to empty everything in my fridge and I like to do this when I'm deep cleaning it because things love to hide out in the back back here. And this way I physically touch everything and I get to check the expiration dates and I get to throw out anything that needs to be let go. And honestly, it is so mentally freeing to declutter out old food and condiments that just need to get out of here. So I really love to empty every single thing out to onto my counter so I can really see what all I have. cleaning quotes that I found that I thought would be really cool to share with you guys. There's three of them. So the first one is housekeeping is like being caught in a revolving door. Amen. It's like no matter how much you clean, there's always more that needs to be cleaned. Am I right? The second one is nothing inspires cleanliness more than an unexpected guest. I can literally put off cleaning as much as I want, but let me find out that someone is popping up over at my house and I swear I can have everything clean in under 10 minutes. And the last one is my favorite and it is, our house is clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy. And that is so true. As much as cleaning is a chore, especially for us busy moms, it is just a great reminder that we have a happy, full home with our families, and that is honestly the best ever. If it was only me and you. So after I get everything decluttered and sanitized, I start putting everything back into the fridge. And honestly, I don't have a solid method for how I store things on the main shelves in my fridge. However, I seem to always put the eggs on the top shelf and whatever leftovers I have on one shelf and the yogurts and TJ's breast milk usually go in the same spot. And then I use my drawers for veggies and dairy. I'm really trying to get better though at giving everything a designated home because when everything has its own unique space, I know it's just going to make keeping the fridge clean less of a task. So I'm definitely working on that. Let me know if you guys have organized spaces for your different shelves and drawers in your fridge and what works best for you.
so now I've got to go and finish the rest of these dishes from all of that stuff that I had left over in my kitchen in the fridge and honestly I have such a love-hate relationship with dishes like I'm super grateful for a sink full of dishes because I know that it means I'm blessed to have food to feed my family and we're all nice and full but then it also means that I've got to stay on top of the dishes all the time and even with a dishwasher I'd say that doing dishes is my least favorite chore and maybe that's why I usually try to start with the dishes first so I can get them out of the way but it just brings me back to that quote I shared with you guys our house is clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy so I like to keep that at the forefront of my mind I'm going to clean off some berries that I got here before I put them in the fridge and I always just clean my berries with vinegar in water and I leave them to soak in the sink and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off the rest of my counters again because I had all of my food here so I'm just gonna give everything a final wipe down and sweep And that is going to be everything for this video, guys. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, I hope that you would consider hitting the subscribe button. I do try to do these cleaning videos at least once a week here on my channel. So I hope that y'all would come back for more. And I hope that you guys got some good tips and some great inspiration today. And I am super happy with how everything turned out. And I just feel way less stressed now that everything is nice and clean and organized and my kitchen is nice and good and my fridge is really nice and clean too so it honestly just makes me feel so happy and brings me so much joy so I hope that this helped you guys out as well if it did make sure that you drop a comment down for me in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye